job. A lot of people always tell me how much they want to farm. I'm here to tell you it is a dream life. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. However, it's super, super hard. <laughs> like, at least, I, I feel like I'm a pretty active person. I have to be here. Uh, but there is probably once every day when I'm here working by myself all day when I do this. When I look like this, which actually I had makeup on. And so I feel like it's masking how red sweaty and hot I am. Look at this. That's pretty disgusting, huh? Future self, please think carefully before you post this on the internet for everyone to see. But this is the reality. I'm dying. So in this episode of Ow, Farm Life Can Suck, I just got stung. That's the second time this week. Ow! Anyways. Um, ah, okay, so that's how it opens, but also I got a delivery of square bales of hay. You can see some of them. And it's gonna rain today. And it's gonna rain for the next week and hay can't be left out in the rain. And so, I have to move 40 square bales. This isn't, okay, this isn't gonna seem far, but trust me. First of all, it's like 95 degrees. With the humidity, I think it's over 100. Um, so, and these square bales, I'm gonna say they're around 60 pounds each. I am pouring sweat. Ew. I'm so glad I showered and did my hair and my makeup, right? Um, so, I'm having to move them from over there to over here. Even for a strong, pretty active person, this is hard, but I have to do it. Nobody's gonna do it for me. And it's gonna start raining. And if that hay gets wet, all my money's wasted. And then the alpacas are hungry. I've taken a break and now we continue. If you don't hear from me again, it's because I passed out. <sighs> okay, so I came out here to feed the alpacas and the mule. And all of these guys are very, very upset that I am leaving. Totally normal. When people drive by, they stop. 90% of the time, they just stop in the road to stare at what is happening because there's always something crazy. Right? They're all following me to get their dinner. <laughs> huh. Bring it up the back. Come on, bud. And the cats. Yep, it's dinner time. I'm coming. Do you need help? What? Do you need help? Picking 
the weekly huge bowl of fresh blueberries from the blueberry plant. And these guys are all waiting for me to drop blueberries so they can eat them. I'm mowing the yard. <laughs> are you hiding? Oh, is it nice and cool in there? You silly girl. They're trying to steal them. Maybe they think they're protecting you from this thing ah. that's attacking your foot. Ah. <laughs> <Why do they laughs> <want? laughs> So, um, yeah, I posted this garden a while ago. Um, this is just gonna be a little update then in case anybody wants it. Herb gardens are a work in progress. Put the mulch down, but here's the progress with the vegetables. It's been a little hit or miss. Some little okra starting, they're a little behind. Um, same with the peppers. I've got some of every color. Uh, there's a little guy, one little pepper. We've got some little green bean bushes. Here we have tomato land. I felt like my tomatoes were way behind compared to everyone else's I was seeing, so I panicked thinking they weren't gonna make it and planted more. And now I have about a million tomato plants. Watermelon, that is going absolutely crazy. You can see it's climbing, which is why I have those, so perfect. My little grapevine climbing up this, slowly but surely, as long as I keep the hugely invasive, crazy pumpkin <laughs> in its spot. So the pumpkin is supposed to just be in this corner, but it's it's like even out in the yard through there. I am protecting the zucchini from it. The zucchini is doing great. I've gotten some huge zucchini. Uh, I'm already kind of collecting more than I can eat. So <laughs> making zucchini bread and everything like crazy to try and use it all. And of course the animals are getting lots of it. Ah, as I like slip over this giant zucchini. <laughs> Smart. One way to get rid of it, just step on it. Uh, my little tiny summer squash. I've gotten, well, two so far. This is the first two, um, but it's trying. Cucumber land. I just watered it so it's a little mopey. And again, this was something I panicked because it didn't look like it was going to survive the transplant. So I planted even more and I'm going to be overrun with cucumber. My little herbs. They're trying. The mint and the basil is doing pretty good. And then asparagus, which I'm very proud of. I'm not going to get any asparagus this year, but, uh, but even the fact that it's like growing is pretty good in its first year. So here we are. I'm out of breath. It's so, so hot right now. I think in another month, probably it's going to be really, really impressive. And yeah, I'm just glad what I like. I think the most about this raised beds is I can be super, super picky about their care. Uh, so I mean, I'm out here and I have such a controlled environment. I spot bug damage in the first day. I am picking like any little foreign Hi. I am able to pick like every flower as it falls off and dies to make sure it doesn't mold or anything like that and ruin the plant. Any dying leaves I can pull off right away. It died again and I didn't notice because I was too busy trying to stop this person from headbutting me. Look at that right there. So yeah, I know the day that any of the vegetables start to emerge and I just love that. I love being this friendly with my garden. That sounds very strange. <laughs> I think it's turning out great. For the helper. You're the taste tester, huh? Stop eating stuff. You're helping me. It's hay day. That's a very exciting day for me. I imagine this is the equivalent of like most girls going on a shopping spree. And this would be a very nice, expensive shopping spree, but instead I'm picking the animals. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
This is the best time. Do you see them all? Can you see the fireflies? This is my absolute favorite time. Everyone's fed. They're all starting to lay down. The cicadas are going crazy. <laughs> the sun's going down. There's a million fireflies. There's Betty White the goat. You can't tell on the video, but just trust me. It's like magical out here right now. <laughs>